Shopify offers three plans, which one's right for you? Welcome back to my new series, Shopify Fundamentals, designed to teach you the essentials of Shopify. I'm Shelly of Launch Party, and I work with new and experienced product-based businesses to help them sell more products online. I'm also the creator of Shop School, an online program designed to teach you how to go from zero to launch with your own Shopify store. Shopify is an online platform where you can build your entire website and sell your products on your online store and across various sales channels like Google, TikTok, Facebook, and more. The first step for launching your Shopify store is signing up for Shopify and make sure you check my caption for the latest Shopify free trial offer. And then before you launch, you need to choose your Shopify plan and that's where this video comes in. We'll talk about Shopify's three main plan options, the prices and what you get. And yes, Shopify just increased their prices as of 2023. Let's talk about it. I'm at shopify.com slash pricing. And here's where we can see the three options for Shopify. By default, we are seeing Shopify's yearly pricing, which is actually their pre-2023 price increase prices. So you can still get those prices if you pay for Shopify yearly. Now, if we change it to monthly, then we can see that the increase applies. So the basic Shopify plan is $39 a month if you pay monthly, and it's $29 a month if you pay yearly. The Shopify plan is $105 a month if you pay monthly, and it's $79 a month if you pay yearly. The advanced Shopify plan is $399 a month if you pay monthly, and $299 a month if you pay yearly. So let's get into the details of these plans so that you know how to choose which is right for you. So first off, we see the credit card rates. So Shopify does not have a transaction fee across any of their plans, but they do have credit card processing fees. The credit card rates start at 2.9% plus 30 cents, and they go down to 2.4% plus 30 cents for the advanced Shopify plan. Unless you're doing a really high volume of sales, that's not gonna be worth upgrading to a higher Shopify plan. For instance, let's say you sell $1,000 a month through Shopify. If you're on the basic plan, Plan, you'll pay approximately $29 a month in credit card processing fees compared to the advanced plan where you'll pay approximately $24 a month. And I'm not factoring in that 30 cents here, but just to give a rough comparison, $29 a month in credit card processing fees versus $24 a month doesn't make up for the almost $270 a month increase for your Shopify plan, but it could depending on your sales volume. Now going to the what's included section for your Shopify plan. If we see what's included on basic, it includes basic reports versus Shopify, which includes professional reports and then custom report builder with advanced. Now I'm often asked if this basic reporting is enough and it definitely is for most people. You'll see conversion rate, average order value, sales insights, referral sources, and more. And if you want to see more than that, you can always add your free Google Analytics account to your Shopify store. Next up for all three of these plans, you'll have up to 1,000 inventory locations, which should suffice. And if you're at the point that you have more than 1,000, then you should consider Shopify Plus, which starts at 2K a month. And that's Shopify's high, high volume plan. So scrolling down here, then we see the shipping discounts and inversely to the credit card processing rates, they go up a little bit for your Shopify plans. You're still getting a great discount with the basic plan at 77% and Shopify in advanced offer 88%. Now that's with Shopify's native shipping option. And if you don't wanna use that, you can always use an app like Pirate Ship or ShipStation and explore other options for your shipping there. And last to compare is the number of staff accounts you get with each plan. With the basic plan, you get two, and then with Shopify, you get five, and with advanced, you get 15. With each staff account, you can set up permissions to decide what you want that person to be able to access. If you're running a business as a small team or a solopreneur, then the two staff accounts will likely be enough. Now let's take a quick moment to talk about Shopify's relatively new starter plan. This is currently $5 a month and is intended for someone to be able to start selling on social media, not build a full website, but still have a product page and checkout options through Shopify. So this could be a good option for you if you're not quite ready for a full website, but you'll likely want to upgrade to the basic plan at some point so that you can have a full Shopify website. 
99% of my clients and shop schoolers are on the basic Shopify plan. I'm often asked if the basic Shopify plan is really enough, and yes, it really is. You don't need to pay for anything extra aside from a custom domain, which I strongly recommend. Your custom domain means you won't have a dot my Shopify URL. For example, with my own Shopify store, I have the domain wildlybright.com. The general cost for a domain is about $15 a year, but it can vary depending on the domain itself. And you can check availability and buy your domain, not just through Shopify, but anywhere that sells domains like Google or Namecheap or anywhere else. And the next question I'm often asked is if you need to or have to have apps with your basic Shopify plan. And no, you don't. You can have a great store with zero paid apps. You don't technically need any apps to run your Shopify store. Everything you need functionally to sell online, like add your products, build your pages, and accept credit cards is included across all Shopify plans. But most stores will want to add some apps to increase their functionality. And that's totally gonna depend on what you need, but there's lots of great apps that are free or have a free tier. There's also a whole suite of free Shopify apps, and I've linked to that in the caption. They include the order printer app, digital products, and Shopify's search and discovery app. So yeah, Shopify did increase their prices, but they're still on par with other e-commerce options. For instance, Squarespace's e-commerce option is just a couple dollars less per month, and you get so much more with Shopify. Shopify is the most robust and leading e-commerce platform out there. And if you can swing annual pricing, then you'll get last year's prices. If you want to keep learning about Shopify, subscribe to my channel and check out the link in my caption to my free Shopify workshop all about Shopify design for product-based businesses like yours.